if your cat could talk, it would be able to tell you if tomorrow is going to be hot or cold, if it is going to rain or not, and so on and so forth. The cat knows this thanks to its whiskers. The cat's whiskers have many functions. Many of them you probably don't know, but I'm going to tell you all about them in this video. First of all, I have to tell you that the technical or scientific name given to the cat's whiskers is vibrisse. If you read it somewhere in a scientific article, they are not so much referring to the whiskers as to the vibrisse. And this is so because they not only have vibrisse on the muzzle, but they have vibrisse, for example, on the upper part of the eyes, on the ears, on the paws. Basically, the most characteristic ones, as you know, are the ones on the muzzle. In fact, if you see any meme of a cat, it always has a little face with the vibrisse, with the whiskers. They usually have between 8 and 12 on each side, always the same amount, not less than 8, not more than 12. And I tell you, on one side the same amount as on the other, they are symmetrical. What are they useful for the cat? Well, first of all, to orient itself when there is no light. The cat can see very well at night, but it's like feeling around without bumping into anything. In fact, and this is important, if you have a chubby cat, which has already increased in size, there is a lack of correlation between the whiskers and the size of the cat. Many chubby cats get stuck, for example, behind the sofa because the whiskers inform them of a certain size and they are not aware that they can fit. Normally, the whiskers do not grow as the cat's volume grows and they get stuck there. The whiskers, as you can imagine, are terribly sensitive. They help the cat, for example, to know whether a food is hot or cold without burning its mouth. By simply bringing the whiskers closer together, the whiskers have the ability to sense the temperature of the food. But not only the temperature, in the wild it is useful to know if that prey that is pretending to be dead is really dead or if it is trying to trick you and could turn around and attack you. This is very useful for them, they are terribly sensitive. As I said, they detect the presence of life, the heat, the environmental humidity, uh, that is also very important, the space, and they are still something that is important not to manipulate because if you have the habit of cutting the whiskers of a cat, as we have already seen more than one case, it will be a cat that in the first place will fall very often. It will possibly become disoriented. It will not know, because it will no longer perceive the smells as it did before, because the whiskers also help it to know where a certain smell comes from. We humans smell, but until we get close to the spot, we don't know where the smell is coming from. The cat knows from a long distance away that there is a dead animal there because the whisker helps it pick up that information. So any manipulation of the whisker is going to be catastrophic for any cat. Okay? So nothing else. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves.